reaction video to the amazing atheist who has um, breached the subject of um, animal rights and um, meat eating and done it in his usual fucktarded and ignorant manner. I mean, really ignorant this time. I mean, just, it's not even trying to have a brain. Um, it's just thug rhetoric. I don't even know what to call it. It's, it's just so... <clears throat> it's beneath his IQ. Let's just put it at that. So, let us begin. I'm a vegetarian, as you can probably tell by my awesome t-shirt. Wow! Your t-shirt sure showed me! I don't get that. I really don't get that. I really, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be insulting. I'm not trying to be mean to you. I'm not trying to, like, you know, hurt your feelings or nothing. But uh, I don't understand the whole, ooh, here's my opinion, plastered to a t-shirt and over some... Yeah, right. Um, you don't have an opinion about anything, do you? I mean, you don't have an opinion that could be put on a t-shirt. What are you going to put on your t-shirt? Um, I don't really care about you if you're a nigger. I mean, what, you know, what, what, what are you going to put on your t-shirt? What, what do you advocate that has any rational meaning to any civilized human? And you've worn plenty of shirts with Manson on them. You don't think that's a statement? You don't think that's saying something to everybody else? I mean, get real, um, you know, so well, I guess you're just doing your buffoon thing. You're just making fun of something that you do all the time. You wear, you put on Joker makeup. What, that wasn't a statement? You don't make any statements in how you act and, you know, and how you behave in the world. And maybe there's, maybe if there was something, what if something really didn't mean something to you? You really had something that really meant something to you. Why wouldn't you? Um, I, I mean, and it's one of those subjects, really, to tell you the truth, it's one of those few subjects that I think it, it can be just a simple statement is all you need. Um, you know, meat eating sucks or fur sucks or something. These are subjects everybody understands. And uh, you're definitely saying something, so why not? I mean, it's, what's the difference between that and somebody wearing a cross or some other crap? Um, well, whatever, just tattoos, uh, piercings. What, you, you're going to, you're going to, you're gonna have you're gonna have to say something about everything, um, you know, hair styles, everything. It's all, it's all somehow you don't you don't understand any of it. Oh come on, um, you know, maybe it's not your thing. It's not my thing. I don't wear shirts with statements on them, but I don't see anything wrong with that. I mean, it probably is a good idea. But enough on that subject. You you just seem like an awful hypocrite. It just seems like hypocrisy. You you've done the same damn thing, fucktard. Simplified terms for you. I mean, like, what does that mean? Like, I'm so, like, someone sees that shirt. I mean, is this the idea? You're walking down the street, someone fucking walking by, they see that shirt, they're like, meat sucks. Gee, I never thought of it that way. You know, and just throws their hamburger in the fucking gutter and goes. Yeah, I don't think that's the expectation. It's just a statement. It's just something to give people a moment of thought. Uh, if anything at all, if even to accomplish that, it's just still a statement, you know, freedom. Yeah, these are good words. Think. There's lots of words you could put on a t-shirt that wouldn't hurt people to get the message. Buy a friggin', you know, PETA or something. Uh, I don't understand it. Like, I was an Obama supporter. I mean, I was a big Obama supporter. I mean, you know, I still am. I think he's going to be a pretty decent president. I'm hoping he uh, Yeah, well, then you're crazy. He can get us out of this mess a little bit. I didn't feel the need to, to put an Obama sticker on the back of my car because of the same reason. Like, who's driving behind me? Like, hard car, lifetime Republican, driving behind me in his, you know, pickup or whatever, and he sees, and you know, my Honda Fit in front of him, and it's got an Obama sticker on the front of it. Is he going to say to himself, well, if it's good enough for the guy in the Honda Fit, it's good enough for me? And yeah, whatever. I mean, bumper stickers have been a joke since their invention. All right, but yeah, whatever. People feel, oh, you know, they if they fee, if it makes them feel better to paste a stupid yellow ribbon on something, or to paste an American flag on something, or to paste Obama's name on something, so what? <laughs> you know, um, you know, you, but don't don't assume that they think it's somehow going to change your mind. Um, it's just a commercial advertisement. It's just a statement. It's just a throw it out there can't hurt to throw it out there I mean why did the religious nuts put in God we trust on our money well because yeah they had some indication that the more we throw this word God down people's throats or into their vision the more likely it is they're going to catch the addiction
just say, well, fuck all this Republican shit. I'm voting for Obama. No, no one's going to do that. I don't think anyone's ever been swayed or persuaded by a bumper sticker ever. Uh, yeah, well, then you're pretty ignorant. You, what are you talking about? People are, 10% at least of the population doesn't figure out who to vote for to the last day. And they're obviously swayed by popular momentum and all kinds of stupid things like that. So maybe if their stylish neighbor that they really admire puts an Obama sticker on their car, it might make a difference to them. There are people who will be influenced by such crap. I don't justify it. I don't play the game that way. But if somebody chooses to do it, big fucking deal. I always, that's always been my kind of fear in election season, though, that people will vote for whoever they see the most bumper stickers and signs and t-shirts for like if they look around and they see all kinds of mccain palin stuff they're like well it looks like my town's going for mccain palin so that's who i'm voting for i mean yeah well don't you think that's how it works they try to paint a pretty picture try to get the right font it all matters right all this image crap matters to people style all matters so it does persuade some people and unfortunately that's the those are the people campaigns will fight over because those are the votes that matter as silly as it sounds but those are the ones that really matter the one you can change the one you can grab they're not going to change the die-hard democrat liberal they're not going to change the die-hard conservative greedy fuck so the only ones they can fight over are these people who have a mushy attitude who will vote for anything if it if it walks up to them in the right manner and shakes their hand properly I have a fear that that happens, but you know, if I, I mean, even if if that fear is true, I don't want to be a part of it because that's horrible. That's a horrible way to to make any sort of decision. Right. So don't be a part of it. That's your choice. And somebody else who might be a little more aggressive say, yeah, I'm going to take advantage of it because we got to get the job done. And uh, you know, every vote does count. So yeah, all right. If I have to lick somebody's foot, I'll lick somebody's foot. But. On an individual level, I don't think that anyone looks at my opinion on the back of my car or on the front of my t-shirt or wherever and says, yeah, that guy's right. He changed my mind. Now, maybe... Yeah, well, whatever. People get their minds changed or their images altered or their perceptions twisted by all kinds of subtle images. And so I think it's just silly to say it doesn't make any difference. It does make a difference. Whether, again, there's another argument as to whether we want to have a culture that's dependent on that kind of shit. And that's not the world I want, so it's not something I advocate. But there's a practical fact to it. It's a practical usefulness to it. So you can't deny that. Maybe your excuse for your t-shirt is going to be, well, it inspires discussion. People see the t-shirt and they come up to me and they ask about it and then I launch into my diatribe. You know what? If you feel so strongly about it that you feel the need to wear a t-shirt about it, that you're trying to get people to start conversations about it with you, then here's what you do. Forget the fucking t-shirt. Go out there on the street corner with a soapbox and a megaphone and stand on that motherfucker and start preaching. <laughs> well, isn't that what he's doing? I mean, apparently he's, it's a YouTube uh video that you took a clip from so I mean apparently that's what he's doing this is the soapbox moron haven't you figured that part out yet that you could probably reach more people more effectively speaking from this platform than standing out in the cold in your local park with a megaphone and just irritating people you know that you might find an audience more willing to listen to what you have to say um, that might already be filtered there might be a lot of advantages to finding some other medium to send out your message. And the message is out there. It's, I don't think he has an obligation to personally instruct everybody. Um, what he's doing is saying, look, this is a subject. Maybe you ought to pay attention to it. Maybe you ought to give it some thought. Maybe later you could watch a TV show on it. Or maybe later you could watch a video about it if you gave a damn. I mean, does it spark any interest in you at all? I mean, that's all it's saying in the gospel of not eating meat. Because if you really believe something that strongly, get in people's faces about it, argue with them about it, because I don't believe in a society where everyone's just non-confrontational and never expresses an opinion. I yeah, so the guy's expressing his opinion on your t-shirt and you're just ridiculing it. What's, what's, so what's that? What, what's the point of this video? What's the point of that pointed ridicule? What's the point of wasting one third of your video on the irrelevancy of what the fucker's wearing? I want a society where everyone is expressing their opinion constantly at all times, no matter how stupid they are, because 
someone expressing even a stupid opinion is amusing and interesting and you could have an argument with that person and maybe learn something new even if they're totally stupid you might learn something new about your own position by what they say so i don't think there's any you know shortage of uninformed fucktards voicing opinions there's lots of that out there there's lots of people talking trash and rubbish and unqualified nonsense so yeah let's have more of that yeah well sure everybody's for freedom of speech but some of it ought to be qualified it ought to be there ought to be some scrutiny it's always good to have an open dialogue going but don't just wear a t-shirt get out there and really put it in people's faces i guess they yeah well i think that's he's putting it, he's making videos and wearing his shirt okay so he's doing the putting in the face and what does it do anyway you talk about this dialogue crap you don't dialogue with anybody about anything ever <laughs> so what the hell are you talking about 